Obliteration and Diffuse, two brand new game modes to the Battlefield series. Of course, Obliteration is being showcased at Gamescom this year, so let's talk about that one first. The aim of the game mode is to destroy the enemy's bomb sites before they destroy yours. The catch is, there's only one bomb available at any one time. Until that bomb has been used to blow up an MCOM, another one won't spawn. So what we have here is a variant of what I think is Rush, because of course there are now two sets of three MCOMs, each individual to each faction, and your objective is to simply get rid of theirs before they get rid of yours. On Paracel Storms, I think this is going to be an amazing game mode. There's going to be so much naval combat in there. There's going to be a lot of air combat as well. Just think about it. If the bomb is placed in the centre of the map, you've all got to rush to the centre of the map to get that bomb first of all. That's 32 versus 32 running at each other trying to get one small bomb. Of course, once you're killed, you do actually drop the bomb if you're the one holding it. So it could be anywhere on the map. Then your team have got to go and retrieve it and try and carry on your mission to blow up that MCOM. But of course, if the enemy get there first, you could be on their tail having to chase them back across the map. Once you've armed the MCOM, it's pretty much the same as Rush. You just have to wait for it to blow up. However, there's a catch. I was watching Jack Frag's exclusive Battlefield 4 footage that he's got from Gamescom and it's actually got the obliteration game mode into it. The MCOMs now appear to have some sort of blast radius where if you're too close to it when it explodes, you will be killed by the explosion. I'm not sure if this feature will carry across to all MCOMs in the game, i.e. in the rush mode as well, but it's a massive step forward from Battlefield 3 where we just had people camping the objective all the time. Now you actually have to be a certain distance away so that when it explodes it doesn't kill you, so you have to tactically defend that MCOM. So for me, Obliteration does look like a really good game mode to play. It looks like a variant of Rush and a bit of Capture the Flag in there as well. If you think about it, you have to go into the enemy's base and sort of destroy their objective kind of thing. So I can see it be a really popular game mode in Battlefield 4. Now, esports fans may rejoice at the next game mode. It's called Diffuse. It's an all-competitive game mode with two teams, the attackers and the defenders, and a bomb site. Of course, it's the attacker's objective to actually destroy the bomb, but if you die in the attempt, you don't respawn until the next round. And what I can see happening here is we'll have some best of situation, best of three, best of five, best of seven, and whichever team actually manages to win the round more than the other team actually ends up winning the game. Now for this game mode in particular, I can't see a high player count being used. I'm guessing 5v5 is the sort of preferred esports manner. So I'm guessing only 5v5 on these maps, sort of more intricate infantry gameplay, a sort of more stealth mode to try and disable that bomb before the enemy detects you. And my opinion is DICE have simply brought this in to make the competitive scene for Battlefield 4 much more appealing than what we had for Battlefield 3. Of course, we've already got the spectator mode, which is great for esports. Add in the diffuse game mode as well. I think we've got a great game on our hands for esports lovers. A couple more things before I end this video. GameSpot have actually released a whole video that's just dedicated to the customization section of Battlefield 4. They go through every single menu that's available for customization of each different weapon. They've even come up with all the different knives that are going to be included as well. So there's a screenshot on the screen of all the knives there. I'll leave a link in the description to the video so that you can go and watch it because there are so many weapons. It would just take me hours to tell you about them all. So I'll let you go and find them for yourself. And the second bit is there's been some more M82 gameplay that's been shown off. Jack Frags managed to capture about 30 seconds worth of gameplay with the weapon. Links in the description down below. It will link you directly to the part of the video. And I suggest you watch the whole thing anyway. It's got a really good overview of the obliteration game mode. But sadly, we've come to the end of the video, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and comments are always appreciated. I'll have a video out tomorrow detailing the new premium service for Battlefield 4 and everything that's included. But until then, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.